Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My lord, what a choke job by the Leafs. Like, now 100% confirmed to be the most cursed franchise, it appears, in sports. Like, we're talking like Red Sox level cursed because losing to that team, regardless of Tavares and whatnot, just after having a 3-1, like, it's just a mess. Anyways, back to regularly scheduled programming. We got our first 99s. Uh, in Hockey Ultimate Team. So I had a feeling that they were waiting till June to be the 99 hut is here meme is now okay. So June 1st, we got Mario and Gretzky. We'll break down those cards. We also got some 2030 cards as well, highlighting some of the younger players in the NHL or soon to be NHL. So we'll break those down as well. Guys, we're almost at 26,000 subs. Thank you guys for everyone that has stuck with me throughout the year. All right, let's get into the video. First things first, however, let's take a look at our last 98 it is the 98 Gordie Howe with three to balance. And 3-2 passing playmaker. Honestly, the Gordie Howe card has been one of the worst in terms of just uh, cost to make and, and and actual, you know, what you get out of it throughout all of the master icons. But because it gets capped at 99, other stats have to move up. So speed and acceleration move up where this is a totally great card. Uh, you can get it to 94 speed, 95 acceleration. And then he's got pretty much 99 everything else. And if you have heart and soul activated, he can even play center. So if you have, let's say you packed the silver one, this is actually one of the cards I'd recommend upgrading because the silver one isn't really going to be of much use to you, but the gold one you can actually use, and three to balance is nice. Um, so yeah, just something to keep in mind here with the 98 Gordie Howe card. But now let's take a look at the 99 Wayne Gretzky. Three to barrage, three to light the lamp, but it doesn't matter. Literally everything outside of body checking is 99. It is a perfectly built card and one that I would recommend upgrading because you don't have to go anywhere else with it. It is the best card that you can get statistically and one of the better ones that you're going to have for the rest of the game. There are going to be a few that will be better eventually but uh, because he's only six foot. But nonetheless, um, pretty much a no-brainer. He has been a great card, not the best throughout the whole year. Um, but now at 99, there's really nothing else we're waiting for in terms of Master Icons. The 99 Wayne Gretzky is a absolute legend. However, probably the best card that we're going to get in terms of forwards, there's really not many other cards that could beat this. Six foot four, 225, 99 everything. This is the forward version of Keandre Miller. So if you have the silver one, um, you know, obviously it's just a little bit short of 99 everything, even with synergies. This is it. Like, this is the best forward card that you're going to be able to get. You can play him at center. I'd still recommend playing him at wing. With his size, shot, speed, everything combined, this is it, guys. His endurance went all the way up to 99. Uh, there is no flaws in this card, and absolutely one of, no matter what, for the rest of the game, will be one of the best forward cards in the game, if not the best. So, um, you know, he's been an absolute stud the whole year, and he's going to finish off as one of the best. Something, guys, I do want to point out just in case you're not, uh, you know, you've been waiting and you're looking to make these upgrades. There is a two icon collectibles for 75 gold players. Now, here's the thing. Well, first of all, you're going to save 25, uh, 25 gold players. You can do this set three times. It's here for two days. Make sure you take advantage of a total of six icon collectibles that you can get towards, you know, your new Mario or Gretzky card. So make sure you take advantage of that. I want to make sure that you guys were all aware as obviously getting that Mario is uh, one of the priorities. If you know, you're still playing and, and looking to be competitive in the game, this, uh, this would be a set that you want to take advantage of. Quick look at prime times. And again, we don't really need to look at them individually. 98 Nathan McKinnon. He's still, I've said this number of times, any of the Nathan McKinnon cards that you get now, they're end game. You don't have to worry about it. They are perfect. Essentially 99 and everything. Once you add up the seams, the synergies. So there's really nothing there. Vasilevsky. I'm honestly, I sold the team of this team of the year one because the synergy thing just wasn't really all that needed. And you know, uh, he hasn't been that amazing of a goaltender. Landis Cog cards always play kind of mediocre. However, he's getting high enough where you might get away with it. He just always plays like it's either too slow, his shot isn't all that good, but now he's getting high enough where, yeah, you got to take advantage. Man, Brandon Gallagher, dude, what an absolute dagger against Campbell last night. One of the worst goals that he has given up 
And man, like I said, I've been a sports fan for a long time, and I am just not equipped to actually process the Leafs blowing it against this Montreal team. But nonetheless, they got it done, and I don't know what the Leafs do from here. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, all right, guys, The also one more thing we want to talk about real quick is the new NHL 2030 card. So my man Phil Tomasino, um, former Niagara Ice Dog, Connor McMichael, Riley Damiani, I'm yeah, I think that's how you say it. Logan Thompson and Kalen Addison. If you're a fan of like you know one of these teams, like Connor McMichael and your Caps fan, for example, this would be a cool card to have for a build if you're looking to build you know, an all an all Washington team or something like that. I am going to be selling off most of my team to make uh, an all-time Sharks team. It's kind of what I do as the game kind of progresses. Um, but we'll have to see is, you know, obviously a lot of my team is untradeable. But regardless, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, fellas.